do have one more plant we That's wanted right. to show you. One more in this series of blooming plants. And that is the azalea. And this one's all ready to be sold. It has its care <laughs> tag on it. Now, the azaleas, you can keep inside for a little while. They sell these a lot. I bet Johnson sells a ton of these at Mother's Day, don't you? Well, during the season, <laughs> about 2,000 by the time all is said and done. Really? It's probably the most popular blooming shrub in the Washington area. You drive through this area in the spring and they are everywhere. Hillsides are covered in color. And you can start with a little plant like this, when you, one you got from your floor shop. Most are hardy in this area. Oh, really? And you can plant them outside anytime after about the first of March, and they will bloom for you, finish blooming in the house, and then bloom for you the following spring. They like the gardenia fertilization wise, likes mere acid or some sort of form of acid loving fertilizer. That's right, so if you're getting a lot of yellow leaves on your plant and you know that you're watering it correctly and you have it in really good light, then try mere acid. Although it would really be better if you get that before this ever happens. Buy some when you get your azalea. That's right. One thing too that we mentioned earlier with the different blooming plants, in indoors these like a very sunny area. Outdoors put them in part shade. When you bear in mind where they grow in the woods, it's under the canopy of the forest. And they do best oh. in a part sun, part shade environment outdoors. They hardly look like a wild plant. They look so well taken care of. It's almost hard to believe they are native to the area actually <laughs> and you with your pruning shears if you were to prune an azalea you'd want to wait till after it finishes blooming and do so immediately outdoors that way because they form their buds for next year in august and if you were to prune too late you'd prune off next year's blossoms oh well that is a good thing to note so when you water them in the house keep them on the moist side as soon as the top gets dry or maybe a little bit before give them a good soak and keep them in a cool sunny place and then outdoors they like the shade part shade part Partial shade, shade part okay. sun okay mm -hmm. and do they like to stay moist outdoors as well or do they form such a big root ball that it would feel dry to your the gardener going right. outside actually they're very how, shallow uh, rooted oh they and are outdoors you would want to water thoroughly but you plant them high so that they can have good effective drainage going down so you could water frequently but the water drains away they do like to be moist outside also well they are very popular and again for those people who don't have a sunny house we do have an alternative for you and that is the silk azalea. It actually looks pretty good, but again, it doesn't beat the real thing.